I'm Ryan McKinney, and I sing Le Borello. Hi, I'm Luca Pizzaroni, and I sing the title role in the Mozart masterpiece, Don Giovanni. So I have done much more performances of Le Porello than Don Giovanni, and I like both. They are such different roles, and I think each of them has such a unique quality. I find Le Porello is much more like a common man who experiences life through the eyes and the experience of somebody extraordinary. And meanwhile, for me, Don Giovanni, it's, it's a dream role because you, you get to enter in everybody's life and change them completely. So by the end of the opera, you know, it's all derailed. Nothing is as it was at the beginning. Yeah, I, I love both roles. I, I'm sort of the opposite. I've sung Don Giovanni a lot more than Le Porello, and I think, you know, the experience of performing them is so different. You know, when you're Don Giovanni, we were talking about this the other day, that you, you kind of need everyone else to engage with you in a certain way because you can't force other people on stage to give you respect, right? So in a, in a great production with a great cast, which this is, you know, we all look at Luca with this sort of admiration, right? Um, as Leporello, you kind of are free to just do whatever you want. <laughs> Sometimes the, the, the director will come up and say, okay, that's a little much, you just calm down <laughs> over there. But, um, you know, and also Leporello is much more of an acting role and Don Giovanni is, I think, much more, I mean, they're both, you know, interesting to sing, but I think Don Giovanni has a lot more challenges, uh, yes. at least for me. And of course, because we both know both roles, we have all this fun interaction in rehearsal, but also I think you'll probably see uh, on stage because we both know what the other's going through and we can improvise a lot easier than maybe people would uh, be able to if they hadn't had that experience. The, the thing I find amazing about Don Giovanni for me is the, the last scene. I love Leporello and I love doing Leporello, but to be on stage and the moment the commendatore comes from the dead and you are confronted with the supernatural, mm -hmm. every time I get there I go, ah, now I understand why I like to see this role. <laughs> a challenge as it is because it's such, a, it's such an amazing moment, I think, that you, know, you hear the voice and you're confronted with that and then you are so convinced and you say, no, I'm not coming. It's amazing, honestly. Yeah. And you get to the end and you're like, you know, now I know why yeah. I suffer for two hours <laughs> to sing this lesson. Absolutely. For me, it's interesting enough is that the roles are so different that when I switch, I rarely make a mistake. You know, you get to talk to the audience. Don Giovanni doesn't talk to the audience. Mm -hmm. You break the fourth wall. I, I, I don't. And you, and it's so different that even in the ensemble, yes, there are some, you know, pitches problems sometimes, but we say such different things that yeah. it's really completely separate, two different characters. For me, Don Giovanni is a half a male, and Leporello isn't. <laughs> and, it, you know, you yeah. go from there. Yeah, I, somebody was asking me the other day, is it hard to, you know, for you to switch, especially because I was in this production as Don Giovanni last time we did it, but I, th I feel exactly the same way, that the character I play as Leporello would never say something that Giovanni says, so right. it's, nev it's not ever my instinct to sing one of those lines. But it is, a, there's a couple moments in the ensembles where it's close enough that you definitely have to pay attention. And I have to say, the good thing is that if we both make mistakes, we can help each other, yeah. which is very good. So Usually it's Luca helping me, <laughs> oh, it's not the other way around, but I appreciate it. No, anyway. but it's really, it's really nice, <laughs> because if you're like, you know, you look like with your eyes, like, help, help, the other one can suggest, yeah. uh, you know, what the words are. Or if you make the other one mad, and they know how to throw you under the bus so that you can't recover, that too. Totally, <laughs> totally. <laughs>